Hello everyone and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions Hydrology Education videos. Today we're going to talk about Manning's equation, a very important equation in hydraulic design and understanding the flow of water in open channels. So what exactly is Manning's equation? Well, written out, it's Q equals 1.49 divided by N times A times R raised to the two thirds power times S raised to the 0.5 power or the square root of S. But let's define all the variables in that equation. So Q equals the flow of the channel, N equals Manning's roughness coefficient, A equals the area of the channel, R equals the hydraulic radius, which is the area divided by the wetted perimeter, and S equals the slope of the channel, typically measured in feet over feet. There is a metric version of this equation, but since we're in the US, we're gonna focus on the English units version for now. So Manning's equation allows for the evaluation of flow in an open channel. So an open channel such as this seen in the video. Now it can't be used for closed pipe systems, but we'll get into that later. Mostly we're gonna focus on open channels at this point. So here's a diagram of an open channel. You can see here we have the area where the water occupies. We have the height, the base, and then we have the wetted perimeter, which is the amount of the surface that actually covers water. So it's not gonna be the entire perimeter of the entire structure, part of the perimeter that's actually making contact with water. Here's another view here where you can see the flow in Q, the slope is measured with those two dots showing the change between the length and the drop, and then the roughness end showing the, the roughness between the surface and the actual water. So let's go into each variable in the equation here. So channel flow rate Q describes the flow rate of water in cubic feet per second in an open channel. So this one's pretty straightforward and often what we're trying to solve for in the equation. However, we can input Q and solve for other variables in the equation. Roughness coefficient n describes the physical characteristics of the channel as it relates to the flow ability of the water. And Manning's n is a coefficient which represents the roughness or friction applied to the flow by the channel. You can see in the tables that you can find a tables of Manning's coefficient n values. You can see with something like soil, it has a higher coefficient than concrete or wood. So you can intuitively see which kind of surfaces would have a higher Manning's n and which ones would have a lower Manning's n. Next is the area of the channel, which describes the measured area of the channel in which the water is flowing. Pretty straightforward there. Hydraulic radius R, which represents the wetted area divided by the wetted, wetted perimeter. Remember, it's not the total area and the total perimeter. You have to actually measure what the water is making contact with when determining the hydraulic radius. See here is a table of the wetted perimeter and common equations that you can use to calculate the wetted perimeter and area of different kinds of open channels. For channel slope, which is represented by S, it represents the channel slope S measured in feet per feet. This one's pretty straightforward. You're just going to measure the drop and the distance of that channel over that specific length to determine the channel slope. So now that we understand the variables, let's actually solve a problem. So find the flow in an open channel with the following characteristics. It's a channel consisting of concrete that drops five feet over a distance of 200 feet. An area of the channel is 30 square feet and has a wetted perimeter of 20 feet. So the first thing we have to do is identify the variables given select the appropriate equation, and insert values and solve for the missing variable. So we have many things listed here, but we need to actually find Manning's n. So if we look at the table, we can see that the channel is consisting of concrete. Concrete has a Manning's coefficient of n, so we'll use 0 0.015 in this case. Now we'll solve for the flow. We'll take 1.49, which is the Manning's coefficient for English units, divided by 0 0.015, which was n, times it by the area of 30, multiply that by 30 divided by 20, which represents r, the area over the wetted perimeter, raised to the two-thirds power, multiplied by 0 0.025, because if we take, remember the initial equation here, if we take five and divide it by 200, we'll get a value of 0 0.025, and so that'll be square rooted. So then the flow equals 617 CFS. What about another problem? Find the velocity in an open channel with the following characteristics. So the channel consists of gravel. It drops three feet over a distance of 100 feet. The area of the channel is 40 square feet, and it has a wetted perimeter of 25 feet. So let's use the same process. We need to find Manning's coefficient of n again. So we know that the channel consists of gravel, so we're gonna use 0.02 as our Manning's coefficient. There's also an alternate equation here. We could use the Q equation, but we only need velocity. So the alternate form of the equation is V equals 1.49 divided by n times R raised to thir two thirds times S raised to the 0.5. How does this work out exactly? Well, Q equals V times A, as we know from the continuity equation. So Q divided by A equals V, so we can remove some variables there. So now we can find that the velocity equals 9.6 feet per second for the problem. So Manning's equation allows engineers to calculate flow rates in open channels based on the geometric structure, slope, and roughness of the material. 
If that video is helpful, you should, you should like the video and leave a comment down below. We have a free guide called the Ult Ultimate Hydrology Guide, which describes different ways in which hydrology is calculated and walks you through the different methods and how to use different software or tools to calculate those methods. So if you're interested in learning more about hydrology, go ahead and download that guide in the description box or the pinned comment. I hope this video was helpful, and anyways, we will see you guys next time.